Hello and welcome to uh, the adventures of Voxel and Stasi. We're here in the field, the bone, uh, where we've pretty much been this whole time. Uh, we're still in the same spot as last time. I actually literally made this episode right after that one. Uh, but last episode we made God went from five to six, and now we are level six. So what we're gonna do is keep leveling. And uh, so my plan is to just keep pulling this area. Uh, seems to be a bunch of noobs out here, so uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Hopefully they uh, we might actually have to move. Wow. That group over there of scaly boys. So what we'll do is actually grab our druid and move her. So she's in a little bit different place. Ooh, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's casting clarity. Oh, he cast enlightenment on me. Thank you. Thank you, kind friend. Kelvos, murder bunnies. You are a great, great guy. Is he asking me for so or something? Because that's going to be awkward. Say. I don't even know where I have to say yet. Oh, he just buffed me. Oh, thank you very much. Kind, kind sir, he gave me haste too. Wow. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Those are far and few between here on Yelenak. A server of, uh. Server of fun and good times. Alright, we're gonna go right here. I think this is a good spot. Let's turn her follow off. Let's get her jotting on. He gave my uh, pet haste, so that's kind of nice. Where the hell's my pet at? Oh, my pet was over there. <laughs> he just decided to teleport to me. All right, we got we got some good times going. All right, Flamelick is doing four now. She's nuking for 13. Things are looking up for us. Where's my spell damage here? My dots do uh, nothing different. <laughs> that is unfortunate. All right, let's... Uh, What'd that do? That gave us, uh, oh, he gave us brilliance, which gives us more uh, intelligence. So that's kind of nice. What a nice guy. All right, let's get some more nukes on this thing. Since these things, apparently druids, don't have to even worry about resists. They're just OP, which is hilarious, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna go for the skeleton. I think he's gonna be a much easier, easier target. Now, if I were bored, I'd probably bring my shaman or something here, or my mage and just give him a 50 point damage shield and uh, go through this. But I, I wanna actually do it kinda as legit as possible, right? Minus the items that we had his hand-me-downs, but, uh, it's fun, it really, I mean, it's fun to do some of this stuff without, uh, being power leveled. The gear really doesn't do as much as it would on a melee, so, it just lets me go for longer without having to sit, <laughs> which, truth be told, is not a very long time, anyway. There we go. Oh, you silly, silly pet. You're going to die. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it finally. Just trying to get that landed. Random uh, spell there. Literally not doing enough on her, I don't think. I think once she, once she gets her dots and stuff, it'll be a little bit easier. Because of the nukes, right? You gotta, like, cast, click them a lot. I 
and I am, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed, I am quite lazy when it comes to this game. And I try to do as least as possible. Alright, I guess I double diseased him. Let's go ahead and get poison on him. Yeah, there we go. A snare for the good boy. Yes, he's snared. Goodbye, buddy. So the snare is doing 8 per tick. I'm doing uh, 10 with Poison Bolt. That's 19, counting disease per tick, plus the pet. That's hitting for like 14. Jeez. <laughs> All right, buddy. Calm down there. Calm down there with your, your 14s. Jeez. That's a lot of damage for a level 4 pet. He was yelled at me when I made him, I think. Or one of them was. All right, let's get... Uh, flame lick. Let's get... Well, I guess we're doing that. Still don't have the hotkeys memorized. Exactly. And that thing's dead. All right. Let's go with... Let's go with the yellow. So we are at 29% already. So this level seems like it's gonna go pretty quick. So my uh, my standard tactic is Flame Lick, Poison Bolt, and I pull with Disease Cloud. And I try to get the Snare on, and then try to get that on, and the Wall. Those are all taken down. I'm nuking with her. She's doing four per tick now. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And Flame Lick is a large debuff to uh, fire resistant beef. Maybe not yet. The line of the Flame Lick line uh, does that. Might not be that exact spell. All right, we got a Scaly Bone. All right, we got poison on him. Let's get him right over here. Can make use of this aug. I meant, I was trying to go get a. Uh, there's a, a. There's a frog lock that spawns in. Sibilis. He drops a haste cloak, and I was actually I did a whole entire instance of. Uh, Sibilis. I cleared every mob, and. Uh, I uh, could not get him. He he was up. He always spawns. His name's like Tamanji or Tolomj, something like that. He's always up. He's uh, he's just got he's uh, doesn't have a placeholder or anything. He's just surrounded by jugs, and you kill him. But uh, since I did an instance, it was uh, Trachnon was up, and uh, I could not <laughs> with my warrior split that apart without. Uh, Dying. I think I died like twice trying to just grab him and then deal with deal with the fallout of it. Uh so Yeah, these things don't like me, so I don't know why. Like on uh on uh P99, I guess they're not KOS to everybody. But apparently like they say don't kill the, the badgers cuz uh whatever. And uh, I've never seen why, but the badgers, they want to kill me already, so I'm going to kill badgers. That one was red, though, so I'm going to kill that one. All right. Wow, that thing died faster than I could cast. Scale wolf hide sounds like something I don't want, since it doesn't stack, right? You can kind of tell right off the bat if something's worth taking if it stacks. <laughs> if it doesn't stack, it might not be worth uh, looting. Granted, there are some things that don't stack that are worth looting, but my uh, theory is that it's not one of them. All right. I'm gonna met up real quick. I'm at 20%. We're f halfway through the level already. Uh, so we're gonna met up for a few moments and then we'll uh, continue. Alrighty, we got a little bit more mana. Let's go ahead and just continue from here. 
I get bored just sitting here waiting for mana. <laughs> One of those things. Oh, we got a Bane Strike for uh, 15. <laughs> Jeez. And that's pretty... Bane Strike's actually pretty nice, right? At, at level 60, it uh, does, uh, I think, 300 damage. And at level... Uh, I think at 50, it's doing like 120 or 200 damage. So it's, it's a pretty nice little uh, thing, right? I believe it procs off like every everything you do, so. Or every action you take, I don't know if it, I don't remember it being like persistent Bane Strikes as you uh, continue to cast. It's definitely uh, one of those things that's pretty nice to have just you don't have to do anything, right? You just kill a hundred or a thousand of the same mob, you get you get a bonus to killing those mobs. That is just uh, neat. The grinder's dream, right? Alright, let's get flame lick going. Let's get poison. Wow, flame lick just took that. Group moved up. They're gonna be they're gonna be a thorn in my side. easier now that we got a level up. I don't know when we get our next life tap. We get leech at nine, but I don't see I don't see another life tap for quite a while. Which is uh kind of scary honestly. Since uh that was gonna be my tactic <laughs> for lovely <laughs> is using life taps to uh kinda Help maneuver some of these higher level mobs. All right, let's get flame, uh, flame lick on it. Looks like we got all our dots on it right now, so he is just like ticking down. Look at that 40, 37, so it's like 3% of the tick. Ooh, that one, whatever that was, ticked off a lot. experience is probably from killing a yellow or a just one level over you red I find anything higher than that it just doesn't really matter too much unless you're like in a power level stage where uh, you can uh, definitely kill those mobs See, this guy's red. He's level 10. So he's not too much higher than us. We're six. He's only four levels higher than us. So he's like the ideal level for a mob. Because uh, he's not quite going to resist everything. And uh, we're going to be able to land some things on him. But not all things. But he's going to have the highest uh, experience yield. He's resist. He's very resistant to fire, but uh, poison and disease seem to land on him just fine. Not so much on magic. If I could hit the right mouse, it'll work. 
work on her alteration real quick. There we go. And we got the slow off. Perfect. Another note. I don't know what it's for, but we're going to go ahead and set that as we're just going to leave all. I don't even want to bother with it. She didn't even say, but she's like at eighty percent mana, and I'm doing like as many actions as I possibly can. I have uh, a macro with two nukes. I have another macro with flame lick. Like, I mean, what else can I do to burn her mana? Oh, that group moved. They moved back over to the wall. Interesting. I think with like a group, you should be able to sit in the middle without much issue. All right, flame lick, snare, uh, disease. I think it's because I'm casting dots, and the dots are uh, not as efficient as some of the nukes are at this level. All right, let's go ahead and pull that in. Ooh, bone chips. We'll take those. Scarab eye. We won't take that. Doesn't stack. Not worth my time. Get that in there. Get that going. Flame lick incoming. And let's see if we can land a snare on him just for the sake of wasting our mana. All right, let's get poison bolt on the scaly bone here. Seize and get some nukes going. There we go. I'm already low on mana again. There we go. Let's just, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm just going to melee with my pet and I'll let her do all the heavy lifting on this one. She's nuking for 13 every every pop. And I have two nukes per macro, so every time I hit the button, she's doing like 26 damage. A wolf scale, we're gonna leave it on corpse. I'll let all those roll out first though. Is I like I, I have a I have a few friends. They made, made a druid, and a druid is by far the most phenomenal. I say that word a lot, huh? Uh, one of the better TLP classes for a box. They can heal. They can thorn. They can port. They can sow. And you're like, well, shaman's good. They can slow. You don't need to slow anything in classic don't there's no need to especially if a warrior's tanking or an enchanter pet's tanking you don't need to slow anything i mean i i barely slow in charduck i don't even need to my pet tanks it all with my enchanter or my my warrior tanks it without even noticing it you know it's just crazy i think uh, i think I, I feel like i've overvalued i've overvalued slow a lot and my enchanter can slow so if you do an enchanter which you probably should because that seems to be the most overpowered TLP class for sure they can slow just fine if you need to like I'm I'm able to slow things that uh, I didn't think I'd be able to slow uh, God. some of the many things in in uh plane of hate i've been able to slow my guild has been had very little uh shamans and uh being able to <laughs> slow with enchanters really helped us out a lot which uh i think my my shaman was the only one for the longest time uh besides another boxed one here and there 
But, uh, yeah, like... It seems like it's a little overvalued for me. The, the buffs are nice, though, right? If you don't have a Shem, you're leaving a lot of... A lot of buffs on the table that you could, uh, could have. But at the same time... Are you really missing out? I mean... A few hundred hit points here and there. I mean, it works, so, you know, you need it for the tank, right? But other than that, like, the normal... I mean, most people don't even buff in groups, I've noticed, unless it's the tank or the polar. And that's what I've... That's what I've seen. I don't know if anybody else has had different experience, but... I, I'm... I've only gotten buffs as a tank. <laughs> uh... Or, except for clarity and stuff like that, right? But like hit point buffs and stuff. Good luck. Good luck if you're not the tank. All right, let's go ahead and click this now. What level is this guy? He is 10, so he's not too high. So we're gonna, we're gonna burn him down with some nukes. She's actually low on mana now. I don't know. There's a guy in my guild who's uh, six boxing. He does uh, warrior, cleric, enchanter, and the three mages. And I'm like, wow, why didn't I do that? Or three, three necklaces would probably be best. Oh, wow, we got a level seven. Very nice. Uh, and I'm like, man, that would be, that'd be some sweet stuff right there. All right, let's pull this one because the uh, druid didn't level, and I want to get her level up. All right, there we go. She leveled up. Perfect. So we hit level seven <laughs> quicker than I thought, but uh, we did it. So we do have some new spells. We got Gather Shadows, uh, Vampiric Embrace, and Min Bones, I think. Yeah, those are the ones. So that's Pet Heal. Uh, Vampiric Embrace is actually kind of cool. Uh, let's put it right here for now. And Gather Shadows is our self invis. Uh, the Druid gets invis at level four, so. And. I have no idea what the uh, druid got. Let's see if I can just look on Alakazam real quick. Uh, so she gets Shield of Thistles. Or am, I, am I right there? Yeah, we're level seven. So she gets thorns, a thorn coat, and something else. Strength. So she got strength buff, thistle coat, and shield of thistles. All right, so those are actually pretty nice. So if we get, let's put those on our bar real quick. Oh, wow. It's taken a while to memorize that spell. That's for sure. So now she has the ability to give us damage shield. So what we'll do is we'll uh, you know, use that to our advantage, right? So got a few more minutes in this episode. So let's do this. Let's skin a wood. And uh, let's see if I can actually cast this. That's the self one, and there we go. So three minutes, jeez. That's gonna be annoying. Uh, let's grab this red one here, right? Got him coming in, coming down here. Now he stunned us. I want to take him gonna put dot on him Let's see here can we so this does four points of damage to the mob as every time he hits us so it's kind of nice you know free little free damage is free damage right i think it would do a little bit more against the druid if she was tanking but uh i'd have to change everything for her to <laughs> for her to be the main character and i don't really want to do that So not bad, not bad at all. 
But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and call this one here. I'm kind of getting a little tired. And uh, I don't think I got another one in me right now. But uh, this was uh, pretty good. We got to level 7. Uh, only a uh, <laughs> ton more to go. <laughs> so this is fun. Uh, we'll we'll probably do the same uh, the same the same area probably until about level ten. So next episode we'll work on getting towards level eight, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I, I want to get about ten before we go into Kerns. Probably go a little earlier, but I don't want to risk it. And uh, we'll see. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a fantastic day.